Hey third graders, welcome back to math class. Yesterday we started learning our 12 multiplication tables. Keep practicing those. I thought we'd do a little fun game just like we usually do in class. And I'm gonna flash the card. I'm gonna give you just a couple seconds to say it. And then I'm gonna give you the answer. Keep track of how many you get correct, okay? So these are, this is just the 12 family. Everybody ready? Here we go. 84. 36, 24, this is a big one, 144, 96, you better get this one, 12, good, 72, let's do a couple more. 132, one more, 120. Hopefully you got all of those. If you have flashcards at home, it'd be great for you to go through them with by yourself or with a family member to play a game. That'd be great practice for you. So keep practicing those so you don't forget them, okay? Today in math, you are doing page 273 and 274. And this is a review lesson, which is great. For you but I wanted to talk about the word problems because some of you have had some questions about them okay so we're just going to talk about them and do a little bit on the board very quickly so go down to section 2 a Noah and his brother brothers Daniel and Matthew own 147 books 42 of the books belong to Noah so as if you remember I always tell you to label whose books they are or the color or whatever it is they're telling you about, okay, to help you keep track. So 42 belong to Noah, 38 of the books belong to Daniel, okay? Now, how many brothers are there? Look and see. There are three, right. So you, they are asking you how many books does Matthew own? You don't know how many books Matthew own. You do know that the total number of books is how many? 147. This is the total, okay? So if we know how many books Noah and Daniel own, what do we need to do to find out how many books Matthew owns? This is a two-part story problem. What do we do? Yes, first we are going to add how many books Noah and Daniel own together. So do that, two plus eight is 10. We put the zero, we carry the one. Four plus three, plus one more is eight. Okay, so this is how many they own together, Noah and Daniel. So now what do I do with the 80? I'm gonna take 147 and I'm going to subtract it. 147 minus 80, this is the total number. This is the number that Noah and Daniel own. And this will give us the amount that Matthew has. Okay, so seven minus zero is seven. Four minus eight, you can't do that. So we have to borrow. Okay, now what do we do? 14 minus eight is six, good. And so this 67 is the total number that Matthew owns, the total number of books. And if you look, it says how many books does Matthew own? So in the blank, you would write 67 books. Now the next word problem, I'm not gonna do with you, but I want to remind you of something. How much would three yards of lumber cost if each foot cost 375? Okay, they're giving it to you in yards, three yards, but they want you to answer in feet. How much would um, the feet cost if it's 375? Okay, so what are you gonna do? This is a what? A measurement problem. So the way you would set this up in case you were confused, and then I want you to work it out, is you would do three yards, equals, we're trying to find the answer and look at it, feet. So you would do three yards equals blank feet. So this is a small measurement problem, okay? So you're gonna do blank feet equals blank feet, write your numbers and continue on, okay? If you have any more questions, you can let me know and I will see you another day. Bye kiddos. 